Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dear for all participants Thank you for the committee of the 4th International Conference on Biophysical Technology in Dentistry And also I want to thank you to my supervisors Dr. Gigi Andi Tajirin MKS SPBM Consultant and Dr. Gigi Yossi SPBM who gave me the case Let me introduce myself, my name is Rahmanido Friansyah I'm a resident of Oral Maxillofacial Surgery, Hasanuddin University In this session, I will try to explain about management of odontogenic maxillary sinusitis with Catwellac approach, a case report Maxillary sinusitis is an inflammation of sinus mucosa lining It can cause from non-odontogenic and odontogenic The prevalence of maxillary sinusitis is about 10 to 15% from dental origin. Odontogenic maxillary sinusitis is an inflammatory condition of the paranasal sinus that is the result of dental pathology, most often resulting from prior dental alveolar procedure, infection of maxillary dentition, or maxillary dental trauma if not untreated well can cause serious complication. Paranasal sinus are a group of four pair of filled space that surround the nasal cavity. The maxillary sinus are located under the eyes, the frontal sinus are above the eyes, the ethmoidal sinus are between the eyes, and the sphenoid are behind the eyes. The sinus are named for the facial bone in which they are located. The maxillary sinus or the name other is antrum hygmor. The maxillary sinus is the large of the paranasal sinus. The lateral wall of maxillary sinus is above the teeth, so it has a very close topography with maxillary of molar teeth. From the anamnesis, we take information of female, 24 years old, present with chief complaint of recurrent pain on the right cheek and spread to the right head with accompanied by a yellowish discharge from the right nose. There was an sexual tooth extraction history of the upper molar about years ago. Extra oral examination found the tenderness in the area of the right cheek. Intraoral and examination from gingival hyperemi, edem, edentolus in region 1.6. From the panoramic radiologic show bone intact, retain root 1.6, the border of the right maxillary sinus floor not visible clearly and clothing surrounded. From extraoral view, no abnormality found except the tenderness on the right cheeks on the clinical examination. From interoral view shown udem and hyperemia at right gingiva and edontolos 1.6. From panoramic view, we can see the retained root 1.6 and clothing appearance surrounded in the right sinus cavity with sinus border is not visible clearly. Based from anamnesis, clinical examination, and panoramic radiology, we diagnosis with odontogenic maxillary sinusitis at causa necrosis radix 1.6, and then we are planning definitive therapy with Catwellac approach and extraction necrosis radix 1.6 and sinus was out. Catwellac surgery, also known as Catwellac anstrostomy and radical anthrostomy, is an operation to remove irreversibly damaged mucosa of the maxillary sinus. It is done when maxillary sinusitis is not cured by medication or other non-invasive technique. The approach is mainly from the anterior wall of the maxilla bone. It was introduced by George Catwell in 1893 and Henry Luck in 1897. The maxillary sinus is entered from to separate 
openings on the cannula fossa to gain access to antrum and other in the nasoantral wall for drainage. Case management for this patient with surgery with cut -like approach. First, we expose the intraoral view before we incision, we do disinfection on operating area and injection local anesthesia to get vaccine contraction. In the step 2, we make trapezoidal flap with an incision about 3 cm from the region of the second upper molar according to description of the technique. Next step 4. Exposing the anterior wall of the maxillary sinus and the base of mucoperiosteal detachment. Made cut -like approach, first opening the buccal alveolar bone, gain access maxillary sinus space, and elliptical shape window was performed with separical drill. And then expose located to 1.6 and remove extraction to 1.6 with bend elevator as the main cause. Curatage on the socket, control bleeding, and subsequent closure of the operating area with continuous suture was performed. Black seal 3.0 is surgery is complete. Discussion According to literature, odontogenic maxillary sinusitis is divided into acute and chronic pace. In this case, the patient feels recurrent pain in the right cheek and spread to the right head accompanied by a yellowish discharge from the right nose. There was history of unsuccessful tooth extraction about one year ago indicate the case is chronic pace. The treatment of patient with odontogenic maxillary sinusitis can be done with combination conservative and surgical therapy. In choosing a surgical approach to treat odontogenic maxillary sinusitis requires skill and proper diagnosis, parameter, and consideration, including to the type of incision technique, must be precise because it determines the healing of the defect that will result in the future. The surgical technique chosen in this case is cut -like approach with extraction to 1.6 and sinus was, also, was performed. The cut -like technique was performed to make access to the maxilla sinus allowing its inspection and treatment of the disease. This technique is used for treatment of irreversible chronic maxillary sinusitis, removal of dental roots. Removal of the causative tooth, which is difficult, is performed with the usual technique. Opening of the lateral sinus wall with cut -like approach that drainage of the infectious fluid causes sinusitis. Tight and good closure of the flap will the healing and regeneration of defect tissue well. The conclusion of this case is about the cause of odontogenic maxillary sinusitis is the result of dental pathology most often resulting from prior dental alveolar procedure, infection of maxillary dentition or maxillary dental trauma. The combination therapy with the surgical approach Katsuela techniques, extraction of the causative tooth and adequate antibiotic is a treatment that should be considered in the treatment of odontogenic maxillary sinusitis. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, you can find me at ernofriansia at gmail.com.